several seasons and today's episode she was um, talking about how she ended up being a nanny full-time and so in the episode she used to be a part of a group called the doo-wop girls and she was the leader of the song of the group and so they auditioned for this big musical um, producer and guess what he said sure I'll sign you but fire the fat girl and who was the fat girl? Nail Carter. So instead of her friends, you know, having the guts and courage to tell her that they were gonna take the opportunity without her, what they did was bought her a bus ticket, tried to ship her away, but she was more loyal to them than they were to her. And she was like, I just can't leave you guys like that. I'm part of this group. I'm not gonna um just ditch you guys or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they had taken her uniforms and made them a smaller size. They had um, altered everything. And they had signed a contract with the guy behind Nails Back. Well, the new girl showed up. She was smaller, brighter, more beautiful version of her. Um, and the, the guy blew the horn and it was time for them to all go and get on the bus two of the girls just scurried on off and they went and got on the bus and the one girl said now you should have just got on the bus i hate to do this to you and she had remorse for leaving her and then after they left Nell just kind of slid up against the door and she was like people say i'm the life of the party cause i tell a joke or two Although I'm laughing loud and hard, deep inside I'm blue. If you look closer, it's easy to see the tracks of my tears. Sometimes, it, there was one part I skipped. What did I say? She says, although I'm laughing loud and hard, deep inside I'm blue. If you look, take a look at my face. You'll see my smile is easy to trace. But if you look closer, it's easy to see the tracks of my tears. Something like that. I forgot the words. It's an older song. And I've heard it in a lot of shows and stuff that I watch. But I started thinking about that thing. A lot of times people think that leaving tear tracks is the worst thing that ever could happen to you. But I think about 1 Samuel chapter um. 30 with David at Ziglag when the men had they stoned they took the women and they were all cried out it was then at that point where he was empty and he could stop and he could encourage himself he knew then that he could send for the ephod and he could encourage himself and the Lord would gave him a word that he could re uh, pursue and recover it all without fail recover it all 
and it was also in the book of psalms where he says that 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 you sow in tears you shall reap in joy the bible says that weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning time the bible depicts in psalms 56 and 7 around that area i'll put all the scriptures at the top of the video that when we cry the angels take our tears to heaven and they find a solution to us and this is something that i talk about a lot on the channel there is something very powerful about leaving tracks of tears as hagar in um genesis when abraham sent her and ishmael away with a loaf of bread and a bottle of water when she fed her baby and she put him over beside a tree because she didn't want to see him die when ishmael began to weep and cry out god hearkened to him and made ishmael a ruler of a nation honey sometimes it's not until the lord god hears and sees your trail of tears that he can come and bring joy and peace to your situation and circumstance i'd rather leave a trail of tears any day because that's a that's a sign for my angel to trace that's something for god to use my tears are a tool for god to use now don't get it twisted i haven't been crying this week <laughs> two weeks ago now i was a little wet paper sack but when I heard that song this morning, it resonated with my spirit. Sometimes, you know, people can look at you and they see that you're the life of the party. You're laughing and you're joking. You're telling a joke or two. But if they look closer, they'll see that deep inside, you're really blue. And that if they look really, really close, they will be able to see the tracks of your tears. But that's okay. You can look at those um, times where the Elijah and David, they will often say that my tears were my meat isn't that something and how it talks about how their pillows were saturated with tears god did not omit those things from the word because it was significant our tears have a grave meaning a grave meaning they're a purpose they are the they wash our soul and that's something that cleanses and purges our soul when we cry out to god when you cry you have a catharsis you have a release that empties out all the excess drama baggage hurt shame fear and all of that and it gives room for the holy ghost to move miraculously on your behalf i'd rather cry a trail of tears than to bottle it up inside and allow bitterness to fester and set in because you know what the word of god say about bitterness bitterness rocks the bones so today if you haven't already laugh until you cry cry until you laugh leave a trail of tears why because there's angels connected to those tears there's blessing and joy that correlates with those tears there's the ability to pursue overtake and without fail recover all everything that the canker worm the locust the caterpillar have eaten away in your life cry it out and walk it out god has a purpose for you he has a plan for you today and you might be crying you might be weeping you might be leaving a trail of tears but guess what this ambassador is covering you in prayer this ambassador is cheering you on god has a whole host of angels we have such a greater cloud of witness that is cheering you on in heaven and know that weeping may endure for one night but joy comes in the morning and guess what even though it's dark a little bit it's morning time yay i love you ambassadors let's say our daily confessions and let's pray and prepare this fabulous friday i decree and i declare that I am whole, healed, delivered, and set free. I am the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. I'm everything that he said that I am. I can have everything that he says that I have. His promises for me are yes and amen. And I take hold of those promises today. I decree and I declare that I'm God's beloved. Above all things, he wishes that I may prosper and be in good health. I decree and declare that I have a soul winner's anointing. God is sending souls from the north, south, east, and the west. I believe that I am wise because wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom cometh now. I seek wisdom. Today, God is going to give me wisdom, ingenuity, creativity, witty ideas. I decree and I declare that I'm a willing vessel and God can use me. I decree and I declare that I'm a mouthpiece of God. Speak, Holy Spirit. Have your way. 
anoint my mouth today that everyone I encounter experience you Lord God allow the light of God to shine on the inside of me so bright that people will want to fall in love with Jesus just like I love him dear heavenly father i thank you for this day lord god i thank you for your promise to wipe every tear from our eyes lord god i thank you that weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning i thank you that you will never fail us nor forsaken us that you will be with us even to the end of the earth i thank you lord god for loving us even when we didn't love ourselves you loved us that while we were yet in sin christ died for us and we thank you for that we thank you for life strength breath well-being the use and activities of our lambs we thank you lord god for everything that you are and everything that you will be in the mighty name of jesus we pray if you guys don't know jesus as your lord and savior i suggest that you get to know him if you don't know how all you have to do is read romans chapter 10 verses 9 through 10 if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that jesus christ died on the cross for you and god raised him from the dead then that makes you saved um, if you need help on your new Christian journey, go over to Facebook and like Loving People by Sharing Christ. Loving People by Sharing Christ is a Christian support page founded by Minister Renata C. McFadden and her bestie Heather. There you can find memes, gifts, and other graphical illustrations and depictions of the undying love of Jesus Christ. Feel free to inbox your prayer requests and testimonies and read the daily devotionals. Be sure to read them because they are truly God-breathed. I love you guys so very much. I pray that you have the most wonderful and harmonious weekend. I look forward to um, fellowshipping with Patricia um, Cabinets Davis of Real Life, Heal Life, Whole Life, and doing the emotional work. And I may leave a trail of tears, but I know at the end of that trail is a great harvest of joy. I love you guys so very much. And in the meantime, I hope to see you soon. But in the meantime, embrace and enjoy your journey. Goodbye for now.